This exhibition is presented by Ayala Museum with the cooperation of Neon Gallery and co-presented by Ayala Corporation, Ayala Land Incorporated, and Insular Life, and with the major support of BPI and SMEG. And special thanks to Samsung and Matinko. To welcome us all, may we present the Senior Director of Ayala Foundation's Arts and Culture Division, Ms. Mariles Gustilo. Thank you, everyone. It's, it's so lovely to see such a big crowd. Uh, and we thank you and welcome you to Ayala Museum. Again, on behalf of Ayala Foundation and Leon Gallery, our co-presenters Ayala Corporation, Ayala Land, and Insular Life, our major sponsors, BPI and SMEG, and other supporters like Samsung and Matinko, thank you for attending what we consider a monumental occasion. For tonight, we commemorate the 125th anniversary of Philippine Nationhood with the unveiling of a long-lost masterpiece by one Luna, never before seen on Philippine shores. Titled Himen o Himene, and widely regarded by art collectors as the holy grail of Philippine art, this masterpiece was last seen in public 132 years ago in Paris after winning bronze in the groundbreaking 1889 Paris World's Fair of the Eiffel Tower fame, once again confirming Luna's position among the best painters of the Western world in the late 19th century, earning not only for himself, but for many Filipinos, a sense of dignity and pride at a turning point in our own country's history, our quest and struggle for independence. As an art and history museum, Ayala Museum acknowledges the role of the fine arts in understanding history. We marvel at how works of art can reveal so much about a time and place not our own, and often tell us how much has remained the same. Supplemented by a film documentary and a substantive catalog, the exhibition you're about to see analyzes this single work of art around three themes. The fascinating world of 1889, Juan Luna, the painter as hero, and the complex imagery of the painting inspired by a Roman wedding feast. My heartfelt thanks to the following for making this happen. First and foremost, Jaime Ponce de Leon of Leon Gallery. For the generous long-term loan of this prized possession, Himen or Himene, to Ayala Museum that will enable us to share it with the Filipino people when the exhibition officially opens to the public on Independence Day, Monday, June 12. The exhibition will run for six months. As an added gift, admission to Ayala Museum will be free on opening day, made possible by Ayala Corporation. <laughs> Next, I would like to thank the Ayala Museum curatorial team, of, and they're all here. Vita Samson, Ken Esquera, April Tiham, Ken Tenmina, and J.M. Ken, for nurturing the exhibition from concept to fruition, and for their commitment to deliver unique learning experiences to our visitors. Scenographer Gino Gonzalez and his team, Leslie Joy Centeno, Benjamin Ragua, and Lorenzo Pizarro for an inspired exhibition design. Historian Dr. Ambil Arocampo, H.R. De La Costa Professor of History and the Humanities at the Ateneo, for his valuable contribution to the catalog and annotating the illuminating video about the painting's complex imagery to be featured in our website soon. Paris-based Filipino film director Martin Arnaldo, who is with us today, over there, uh, for his insightful contribution to the catalog and for a documentary that explores the context of the late 19th century Filipino diaspora for artist and nationalist expatriate Juan Luna, on view in the Samsung room, the premier room in the exhibition space, and which will be aired on CNN on July 11th. Book editor Lisa Guerrero Nakil, who shepherded and masterly steered all elements and contributions 
into the cohesive volume that is the catalog, the talented and renowned lighting director Rubin Fortier, and last but not least, our exhibition contractor, Jason Texon and Asia. And now, may I call 